welcome back. Bienvenido. Hi, Chaos. <laughs> cool. I speak of the Spanish show. <laughs> Some people call it the Espanol. But they're. Oh, uh, uh, well. Anyway. <laughs> I would be remiss if I didn't say that I've never seen such a such a creature as you are familiar. Most have not. It is a bone naga. Bone naga? Miniature bone naga. Hmm. I just called it a skelly snake. If I'd be going a around telling people snake. that my snake was a miniature anything. <laughs> <laughs> bone naga. Cast blue balls on it. <laughs> You don't have to. It's a miniature. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead. I'm done. <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> I have good. I see okay. your group gets much humor out of no no none of this happened no none of this happened in front of him please <laughs> please let none of that happen in front of him <laughs> I'm trying to save face <laughs> okay got it <laughs> damn it that'd be so far out of character for me to do uh, I'm not saying like... would, that would stop being funny at a certain point. I don't know when, because there's a lot of wiener jokes. But. <laughs> so, what do you know so far? I still can't remember the fucking goddess's name. One more time. Khalid. It's Chaldea. Chaldea. C-H-A-L-D-I-A. Okay. Um, well, Alisaria told us a bit about um, Chaldea more than more than I knew um, as one you know who studies and practices to Gaius I know that um, you know Chaldea is in many ways the antithesis of and um, I'm also familiar with your your practicing of purges um, so I'm on a quest currently to attempt to figure out what happened to my family and our village. Oh, I see. And they mentioned we might be able to help uh, with that. apparently a demon Let problem. me rephrase yeah. my question. That was the How much do you know of the demon problem? Oh, that's not my department, that's his. <laughs> <laughs> what are we, a fucking Walmart? <laughs> Sorry, that's not my department. Car into the <laughs> demon department. Car into aisle four, demon department, please. <laughs> See, no, I work at Bed Bath & Beyond. I work in the Beyond section. People come to me and ask for Bed Bath stuff. I go, it's beyond me. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, we hear you have a demon problem. You want him dead? I'm ready to kill them. Surprising. Although, <laughs> in truth, not many of your kind embrace the demonic side. Some do. Glad to see you're amongst those that don't. Well, I'm searching for somebody. Really? It's a special someone. I don't know. Some people want me to call him dad. Ah. Uh, right. I want to call him dead. Well, blood dead, though. That's <laughs> well, blood blood dead, though. <laughs> oh, man. Please tell me that's like your true name of well, some kind. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> you may. Find what you need to know here. I. That's Alasaria's area, I would say. More right, disgust is my own. Um, yes. Disgust? Yeah. Uh, the priestess. English. Head priestess. No, Spanish, if I'm speaking. Don't um, so, below the city, we have been excavating. Searching for the uh, deeper technos that runs through the earth, through Arton, I should say. It's not Earth. That's dumb. <laughs> <laughs> um, and we stumbled upon a curiously magical stone. And 
while researching it. Stop it. He's literally sort of pulling cigarettes out of my pack right now. I'm so sorry. A portal oh opened. A portal opened and the demons began to pour out. And they have sort of taken the the piece that we have found. We didn't know quite what it does yet, but uh, they kind of set up down there. We have enacted barriers to stop them from advancing on the city. And we have quite a number of troops down there standing watch in the event that something happens. Uh, you, having made it this far, seem to be quite capable of survival. Perhaps you can solve this problem for us. I think we can do that. It is, uh, you would need to destroy the, well, we haven't been in there since it happened about a year ago. So we don't know if they've taken the stone into, like through the portal, or if it's still down there. We don't know. Guys, I have a feeling that stone's what we're here for. Yeah. <laughs> Duh! <laughs> We have crafted a few uh, items to help with the closing of the portal, at least what we believe will help close the portal. However, if the stone is through the portal, because we know that that is a very uh, high, it has incredible magical properties, uh, we would very much like to recover the stone, uh, it would need to be recovered from the other side of the portal prior to the portal being closed. Therein lies the problem. The problem is you can't go get it. Just clarifying. Not being a dick. <laughs> that is correct, yes. The second half of that was just me telling you I wasn't being a dick. I'm just asking. I'm concentrating on typing. I know. <laughs> I gotcha. I gotcha. You like in, in, in the chat? No, I'm rewriting my sheet. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Is there any buzz in the chat? Hand. Not <coughs> anymore. Mm -hmm. No. Do I? It ran staying silent as it's Our inability to remember one of our uh, people who watched us got them to leave. <laughs> I couldn't remember if they're Australian or British. Oh, maybe they weren't. You're a pretty good servant, Rand. No, I mean, it was one of the two. It was either the Australian one or the British. I can't remember which one. Yeah, you can pay. I think he found your true calling. Hmm? Is there a Wisconsin one, too? Oh, well, man. at some point, we won't be able to know all of our watchers. Oh, well, yeah. Uh, that's the, the point. <laughs> uh, it's just not feasible to do that. We... It's been so long since we've been in combat. Let me, uh... Don't bother me. I don't know. The portal that we've made is such that uh, death elves, we actually can't pass through it. Which is good, because it means we can't. I mean, it, if we close it, right, then, or just shut it down, then we'll get overrun with demonic forces. But you guys can sneak in. Get the piece, close the portal, and then we can work it in until we've taken out all that have made it to this side of the portal. We gotta unplug it before you can shut it down. Essentially, yes. <coughs> you speak of gnomish technology. Yeah, <coughs> he does. 
out of turn, I should say. I'm slightly familiar with it, but yes, I'm sorry. No, we are familiar. We, we, we've we used some. I appreciate you keeping tabs Our on lamp my servant, are but an example of that. I would very much prefer if you didn't reprimand him in my presence. Don't care. Meh. Nah. Why do you think he, he is not your servant. He's your bodyguard, yes? I'm. He's my servant. She yes. was reprimanding him for reprimanding me, <laughs> and it's her job to reprimand me. <laughs> Got it. <yeah. laughs> Unfortunately. Um, I promise you, it'll be a, it'll it'll all be okay, Rand. <laughs> Servants who speak out of town are sent to the arena. I very much do not want my servant to be sent to the arena. He Understood. is just going to have to work a little bit harder. Understood, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Rand, what do you say? Thank you for speaking for me, mistress. That's a good boy. <laughs> <laughs> this is like super hard for Rand. It is. It is. Yeah, I love it. Like it's, so it's just good. constantly like he's speaking like literally through his teeth. Like, <laughs> thank you, mistress. I just saved your ass from going to the arena, bro. You could have slaughtered whatever they had in the arena. Got it. Right. Well, Rand thinks he could have <laughs> slaughtered whatever. Well, you they wouldn't have had me. Bark with you either. And I wouldn't have had anywhere to hide. That would have been the problem. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's Are why you I going said that. to the summoning this evening? Um, yes. Alisaria invited us, and I think that that would be a lovely way to spend the there evening. There is no rush, by the way. The seal is solid, and uh, so you can take some time, if you wish, to... Explore. Get to that portal. You Skyland. Now, there are places you do not wish to go, and they will be appropriately marked, of course. Uh, or your the people that are escorting you, your uh, guards will point those out. Mm. So you do not go there. Are we? And this is, this isn't Rand asking, but are we pretty much being followed? Escorted everywhere we go. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Well, uh, I am quite busy at the moment. Of course, uh, of course. So I will see you this evening, I imagine. Might we? Ret might I be able to <clears throat> go to the Black Widow? And see to the lodgings for my for the party. Yes, yes, you'll be escorted <laughs> to there now. Um, I I'm gonna just like shower everybody with trinkets and shit. Um, no, okay, <laughs> like, that's just what, that's just no, we're that's, in a new place. That's a great way to ingratiate yourself <laughs> to yes. the death elves. Um, I would like. Hmm. Hey, Rand. <laughs> yes, mistress. Uh, Dear, do you have a bracelet, a cuff, perhaps some kind of necklace that we could impart on our new friend? Actually, I don't think I do. I have... Mm. The only joke... You're not getting that. <laughs> Man, that's when we, we have a problem. Anything. Something shiny. Neat looking. I just have stones, but I feel like stones... Do you have dragon teeth? I Ooh. actually do have dragon teeth Let's that I've kept from teeth. the very beginning. Can we give him some dragon teeth? Yeah. I haven't used those for... I haven't even sold them. <laughs> that was when we were in the Yeah, that was way <laughs> back in the day. That was a while ago. I've that had so those long for ago. like a year. But I, I, I actually have like six, so I pull out a handful of three, and it's like, yes, mistress. Thank you, dear. Um, please accept these these dragon teeth as a token of our appreciation oh, for meeting with us thank today. Thank you. He kind of pulls out a, a, a monocle. Kind of looks at him. These will make excellent spell components. Thank you. You're very welcome. We will see you this evening. You are very generous. And yes, and he kind of like goes back to making notes. <laughs> he just completely ignores you after that. <laughs> and you're escorted out. 
the Black Widow in uh, is a. It's actually not a stalagmite. It's a construction project. Like it, it was built by somebody. It, it actually looks like it was built by dwarves. Okay. And the sign, of course, has a big black widow spider on it. <clears throat> and when you walk in, uh, the chairs. So this is. You're not going to like this. Okay. Oh, great. <clears throat> so, they use... They have live spiders <laughs> that they use as their, like, seating and stuff. <laughs> like, summon hairy spiders uh, that, uh, uh, that are the chairs. Uh, the tables are just, like, regular tables. <clears throat> so... If that's where we're going in, whenever Rand steps in the doorway and sees it, <laughs> literally just freezes. Like, just <laughs> stops dead. Doesn't say anything, he just can't move, seeing that many spiders around. <laughs> and fear. that's literally all that Rand... He's not taking one step in that building. <laughs> um, I would like to cast Seeming. Um... And nice. make the um, chairs appear to be nice, ornate, fluffy cushions to Rand. Casting it on well, me? That would look like it to everybody. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, that works. Probably wouldn't do that. Why? Because you don't want to cast a, a big spell in a group of people. Especially a spell that changes perception. People tend to not like their perceptions changed. Um, so, so you cast me. Oh fuck! Well, <laughs> all of the, okay, Rain sits That's there fine. rubbing his eyes like all, what? All of the spiders become or appear to become uh, like shaggy chairs, like sort of the texture. Are they still the moving? Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, and they're moving. <laughs> they seem they're spiders. They seem to um, like like move a little, like shift a little bit. Uh, but they don't appear as threatening to you. The, everyone in the tavern part of it, where the chairs are, uh, like they kind of freak out a little bit until they notice you and the fact that uh, our guard we're guarded. Yeah, I mean, do our guards yeah, do they, anything? They or kind of walked in there. There. They can tell you're uh, terrified, jackass. They put their hands to their weapons just out of like reaction. Kind of thing, and they. Yeah. What did you do? What? Why did you do that? Um, I'm. I'm quite sorry if it startled you, but my servant here has um, been taken up with fright, and he's just gotten his eyesight back thanks to Alisaria at the temple, and he's never seen. Um, well, in in several years, he hasn't seen spiders, and he's certainly never seen one this large. He was frozen with fright, and it was the only thing that I could think to do to... That's mm. actually really good. Even out of, char out of character, Rand is absolutely terrified of spiders. <laughs> <laughs> and Scorps. Uh, there is a old death elf, or like older looking death elf man behind the bar. And he kind of... It's okay. Come. Surface dwellers. Interesting. Why? Uh, what brings you here? To my inn. Well, we met with Alisaria and uh, Joe Locke today in regards uh. to a pilgrimage that I'm currently on and okay also a way um, in which we can use our expertise to solve the demon problem that your community has been facing. Excellent. Well, we are glad you are here. Knowing that, you may stay for your first night for free. Oh, thank you so much. That's very generous. Yes. <coughs> Uh, 
Would you like a drink, perhaps? Hmm. We have many. <clears throat> well, it always delights me to try local delicacies. If you have a local delicacy that won't be too harsh on my surface dweller aspect, then I would very much like to try it. Hmm. Rand pipes up, Mistress, and like he's still a little shaky, and as he's walking through the room beside her, like holding his hands together, not brushing against any of the chair. He's, <laughs> he's still not sure what he knows he saw spiders. <clears throat> like, yes, sir. Uh, mistress, may I have my liberty for the evening? In a moment. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> you have a most excellent servant. Thank you. <laughs> Your submission is commendable. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, just remember all of the very good things that I've done. <laughs> well, well, we'll get there. It'll happen, maybe. There are not only... <laughs> now, uh, there are a lot of death elves here. He, too, by the way, has shaved. Shaved a head. Um, there are a multitude of death elves here. You also see uh, a few dwarves one full elf, like regular elf, and uh, one halfling. Huh. Uh, they do not appear particularly happy with their current situation, uh, which is probably why they're here drinking. Is but, the halfling a girl? Uh, I don't know <laughs> yet. <laughs> Let me see. That's an excellent question. I will find out. Yes. <laughs> um, and is the halfling also a servant? It is very, very likely that that is the case. Yes. Okay. No further questions. <laughs> I'm usually okay. going to try to, like, wing woman for a <laughs> No. Yeah. I'm, I'm just observing. Yeah, I'm just yeah, yeah, yeah. Observing. The halfling also happened to be an orphan. <laughs> <laughs> we have so much in common. Does, Not she have a, does, she have a, does she have a talking animal companion <laughs> that is more loved than she is? Mm, no. <laughs> <laughs> You are escorted to one of the tables and to sit at the chairs. Oh, lovely. Yes. Yeah, they actually kind of um, speak out in the in the death health speech and some chairs move in independently of being moved themselves, mm. as far as you can see, <laughs> and position themselves appropriately. Now, question... Uh, for your seeming. Did you, like, these chairs that are kind of shag carpet kind of situation, uh, did you put a back on them? Or no? No. Okay. So, I did not just lean back. Yeah, <laughs> like lean back and fall. Yeah, so they they move over. You Rand can, stands. You can have a seat. Rand, <laughs> please have a seat. If I'd rather not, mistress... All right, dear. Well, then, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what. You have been such a sport today. Why don't you take Bark and run along upstairs, and I'll fetch you if I if I need anything else. That sounds great. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. Rand runs to the bar, slaps a gold piece down, and be like, if you all could, if it's possible to send ale up to my room as much as this can buy, slaps another one down, actually, as much as this can buy. Two gold. If this is possible, I don't know how much it... However much mm -hmm. would be appropriate for a lot of ale. Okay. We can bring you our uh, local, locally brewed alcoholic beverage. It's close to ale, I think. Thank you. I that would be most. I'd be most thankful. And then he just he, he just grabs Bart's collar and just like 
drags him pretty much up Bark. to whatever kind of room uh, we Bark have. Like freaking out. Time. It is time. Yes, sir, Bob. Later. 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 Can we have a cigarette now?